morning to you. It's good to see you. Um, what should we be doing? What should the government be doing? What is the Labour Party proposing? Well, good morning. It's good to see you uh, as well. Look, what we heard from the Bank of England yesterday, I, it's devastating. It'll be terrifying for your viewers this morning. And I actually think it's a pretty devastating verdict on 12 years of Conservative mismanagement where we've had lacklustre growth, uh, failure to make our economy more productive, because, and that's the key to sustainably rise, raising living standards and stabilising this cost of living crisis. Look, we're going to have 15 million households in fuel poverty unless the government takes some action. That's more than half of the households in the UK grappling with these energy bills, which could go as high as £4,000. People are really are facing a winter of choices, impossible choices between freezing or starving. We've got to go further. We propose measures like taking the VAT off the fuel bills, not giving a £4 billion tax break the gas and oil companies use that money to take the VAT off, to make, to retrofit rapidly homes, to make them more energy efficient. But we've got to go further on the payments as well. We'll be making more proposals on that, on that soon. And then more broadly, you've got to grow your economy and make it more productive. And one of the ways in which we can do that is by getting more people into work or supporting people to stay in work. The Bank of England's warning that we're going to see unemployment rise sharply, yet we don't have in this country a specialist employment service to help people get the skills that they need to give them the rapid support that they need to get them back into jobs. And you could, the government should be doing that now. They should be really act, active on that now because you've got over a million vacancies, but you've got like, I don't know, 1.7 million people who are currently inactive who say they want to work. So we need to support those people to get into work now. And that's the type of reform that you need in your economy, which helps you bring down the cost of living. People who are struggling right now, though, in the in the in the immediate term, those people who are working in the immediate term. Uh, you talk about taking action on fuel bills and things. Green levy. I mean, how many times have we talked about this? Liz Truss, at last, is saying, "Well, there'd be a moratorium on the green levy. That would make a huge and sig significant and immediate impact on people." But we need to be investing in in our transition to green technologies because part of the reason why we Do have we been less that, less right resilient now, to these international shocks. Because we don't have, I mean, we're totally reliant on these on these on the on the international energy markets. We don't have enough of our own homegrown uh, uh, gr green energy sources. So we do need to to be funding that. Um, so I mean, Liz Truss says she's going to get rid of it, but actually, that will just make us more dependent on these international energy markets, which will make us less resilient.